Alright, uh, this is a, a, a rap song by Jay Medeiros. It's called Constance and it's about a little girl that is sold into um, human trafficking at six years old. So just follow along with the words. <coughs> Ain't no man vacationing, he stands patiently Under a hotel sign that means vacancy He's thinking maybe he's too late to make the drive off Till a truck come in his way, breaks and stops short And now he's out of sorts, you can see he's sort of nervous Walking through the back of the door The need is order services and someone's sort of working Looks his conscience when the driver says he's my youngest Her name is Constance, he comments And it's only six dollars per visit There's only many marks on her, it hurts business But for a minute he confess that's fair Less than his cat fare. How old are you, honey? She says I'm 13. My nose is running. It's raining in the Philippines. He handed over the money. In the chilling scene, the truck drives off, and now he's on the hunt to kill the dreams. The sign reads no vacancy. He leads constant to a room. He is ready for TV. See, he's about to turn six into six thousand. And all you gotta do is click on your web browser. It's not illegal to use raping as a cash crop. As long as it says she's 18 on your laptop. The sound of rain is a backdrop. Laying there. She's waiting for somebody to say they care While the tears of God fall down the window pane She feels unholy like the father doesn't know her name Mary Magdalene, the woman at the well He knew everything that happened And it's all she got um, Okay, so um, Today I will explain the inhumanity of human trafficking Also known as modern day slavery Um I researched this topic for about two weeks and I took a sociology class on social problems that we talked a lot about human trafficking. Um, human trafficking is a social problem that affects every continent, every social class, every age, and it happens in every state of the United States. And um, it's a big issue and I will explain it by addressing who, how, and why it happens. First, I'll start by defining what human trafficking is. According to the um, Office of Crime and Victims Advocacy, it defines it as being modern-day slavery that involves transporting people within or across borders to, among other things, labor in sweatshop, perform domestic work, work in the sex industry, be buried by international matchmaking, or to work as farm or timber laborers. Uh, this leads me to my first point, which is who is being trafficked. It is mostly people in developing countries who, due to economic problems, follow their from seeking the trafficking. They are perfect prey because since they are poor, they really don't have much money and um, they are very vulnerable to the lies that the traffickers put to them. There are actually more slaves now than there ever was in history with an estimated 27 million adults and 13 million children. 2.5 million people are being trafficked right now or at any given moment. And 161 countries currently participate in human trafficking by either being a source, a transit, or a destination. Kids become target for uh, trafficking because they can be slaves for a longer time. They are easier to find and abuse since they are weak and innocent, and they are easier to condition. According to UNICEF, over the last 30 years, 30 million children have been sexually abused, and the FBI estimates that 100,000 young women and children are being trafficked in the U.S. today. An estimated 1.2 million children are trafficked per year. Uh, 200,000 Nepali girls as young as nine have been sold to India's red light district in the last decade. And babies are sold into the black market and the profits are shared between the trafficker, the doctor, the lawyers, the border officials, and uh, the mother who usually gets a couple hundred dollars, which is the least from all of them. Um, according to a Washington Times article, the Taliban buys kids as young as seven years old to use as suicide bombers and their cost ranges from seven to $14,000 each. Children can easily be conditioned, and this includes starvation, rape, gang rape, forced drug use, shame, physical abuse, and confinement. Women are also targeted by traffickers, mostly for sexual labor. This includes strip clubs, massage parlors with sexual services, and prostitution. Nine out of 10 uh, Korean women that escape, North, North Korean women that escape into China end up being trafficked for sex. However, it is Japan, the number one market for Asian women trafficked for sex. And 43% of all trafficking is for sexual exploitation, of whom 98% are women and, women and girls. Our last subpoint is who are the traffickers and what is their property. 52% of traffickers or recruiters are men. 54% of cases, um, the recruiter is a stranger, and 46% um, the recruiter knows the victim, and it's usually a family member. Traffickers often obtain documents and passports by working with 
corrupt government officials. The profit for human trafficking is estimated to be $31.6 million each year, or $9.1 billion. Ludwig Tarzan Feinberg, a convicted trafficker, said, you can buy a woman for $10,000 and make your money back in a week, but she is pretty and young. Then everything else is profit. Now that we know who participates in human trafficking, let's look at how it happens. The majority of victims are migrant workers. These workers hear about jobs abroad through friends, family, or recruitment agencies. When they arrive to their destination, they realize they were lied, lied to, and they are forced to work under conditions they do not approve of. Um, they are not able to get help because once they arrive, their passports are being taken away, and uh, they don't have a right to be in the country anymore, so um, they uh, can't go to the authorities. In order to get to their destination, they probably borrow money from someone, which means that they have to work endlessly to be able to become free from their masters and uh, eventually pay off their debt. And to even make more money, they usually end up working um, through, uh, they end up becoming prostitutes or uh, any type of sex trade. There was a recent human trafficking case in the United States that occurred in Hawaii. 400 people from Thailand were brought in 2004 with promises of high-paying farm work, but when they arrived, they were taking their passports away and forced into slavery until they were rescued in 2010. Um, now that we understand who and how it happens, let's look at the most important aspect of human trafficking. Why does human trafficking happen? It starts with a huge gap between the rich and the poor. While most of the world's wealth belongs to a few hundred people, the majority of people are extremely poor and vulnerable to abuse since they will do anything for money. With stats such as 1.2 billion people live on less than a dollar a day and 1.3 billion people live on less than two dollars a day, the gap between rich and poor is pretty evident. Looking at the gap locally, the richest man in the United States has wealth equal to the bottom 400 40 percent of American people. Another reason why it happens is the countries in which most victims come from usually after usually um, after disasters, um, human trafficking increases because uh, the kids kids are usually left homeless and picked up in the street. This was the case in India after the tsunami or Haiti after the earthquake. Trafficking also occurs in countries with overwhelming population problems and with where living conditions are unbearable, either due to war, prosecution, medical rights, violence, or poverty. Some of these include North Korea, Brazil, Thailand, China, Nigeria, Albania, Moldova, etc. But of course, the victims are not the only ones responsible for their own abuse. Greed plays an important role in human trafficking. SES Sisters on Board puts it this way. Exploitation of labor to maintain low-cost structures in response to end consumers' demands for very inexpensive products, corporate promotion of cheap premium material goods and services, and Western consumer demands for cheap goods are parts of women. In other words, our hunger for material possession gives traffickers an excuse to abuse people and make money out of it. Greed for material possessions isn't the only thing, though, since our desire for sex, pornography, and other sexual labors is the number one reason why human trafficking exists today. Put materialism and lust together, and you got the third largest criminal industry in the world and the fastest growing third only behind arms and their doom. In conclusion, it is the poor women and children who are affected by it. It happens usually by lying to them, and it happens because there are so many poor people who are vulnerable to being abused. This, this is evidently a huge social problem, and hopefully we can do something about it before it ends up becoming the number one criminal industry in the world. Thank you. Katie, what did you think? Um, I really liked it. Uh, the song at the beginning really caught my attention. Um, the information was really good, and you know a lot about what you were talking about. Um, one thing is just um, like look at your audience a little bit more. But other than that, it was really good. I like the way that you set up the song and tried to...